coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. Well, a winter storm is making its way through the Wabash Valley right now, and that could make for some treacherous driving conditions. Let's join News 10's Tucker White. He's riding along with our county's snowplow driver. He joins us live to show us what it looks like on the roads right now. Good morning, Tucker. Well, good morning, John. I'm here in northern Terre Haute, and we've been out here for an hour plowing the roads, or I've been with Jeremy here for an hour plowing the roads. And this snow is just not stopping. As you can see, it continues to come down as we continue to plow the roads and it just keeps building up. And underneath that snow, there's black ice. So if you do not have any place that you need to go this morning, I suggest staying home and making it a snow day today. Reporting live in Northern Terre Haute, Tucker White, News 10. Power outages are also a major concern with this storm. Let's join News 10's Heather Good live from Duke Energy with the very latest. Heather, good morning. John, good morning to you. Obviously, power outage is still a threat this morning as this winter storm pushes through the Wabash Valley and the rest of the Midwest. We've been talking with Rick Berger from Duke Energy here in Terre Haute throughout the morning show, and he tells us 1,500 employees from outside the Midwest are actually coming in to help with this storm in case of outages, 300 employees specifically for here in Indiana. We want to give you some important information, though, if you do experience an outage. Take a look at your screen. Here's the information you need to know if you are a Duke Energy customer. If you do lose power, you can contact Duke by texting OUT to 57801 or calling 800-343-3525 or using the mobile app or the website. Of course, it's also a good idea to plan ahead. Even though your power may not be out right now, it could be out later. So do things to prepare now, like charging your phone. Make sure you've got food, water, and medicine to last you. As the storm team's been predicting, the threat isn't just right now with the storm moving through, but later when those temperatures drop. So if you do experience an outage, that could be a real problem for you. Now, um, currently in the Wabash Valley, Duke Energy is not reporting any outages here, again, in the Wabash Valley, but we are seeing sev several hundred in other parts of the state. This is something we're going to be updating you on all morning long. Live in Terre Haute, Heather Good, News 10. So how much snow can we expect and when will the storm finally be over? Let's check in with meteorologist Brady Harp in the Weather Center to learn more. Good morning, Brady. Good morning, this is our winter storm warning. All these counties highlighted in that pink color, our entire area. No matter where you are in the Wabash Valley today, you're gonna to be dealing with high impact winter weather. You can see our storm tracker showing how widespread it is. Heavy snow having taken over early this morning. You can see farther to the south, southeast there. Briefly, you can see the time at the top up here. Early, early this morning, wintry mix still tried to fall and ice accumulation was still a possibility there. So whatever snow is falling now is falling on top of whatever layer of ice has accumulated, even from yesterday evening, mostly along and south of I-70. Now, farther to the north of I-70, you're going to be dealing with more snow accumulation today. And watch for widespread snowfall for hours today. Most of the daylight hours and well into the evening, expect some form of heavy snow and strong winds, meaning blowing snow a possibility, drifting snow a possibility. And because this is lasting so long, expect multiple inches of snow accumulation creating problems for travel well into tomorrow morning. So be careful. You can see after this winter storm leaves, bitter cold conditions take over. Our coverage of Groundhog Day Winter Storm 2022 does not end here. CBS Mornings will take over team coverage of the national storm at 7 Eastern time with live reports from Chris Van Cleve and John Elliott. Then be sure to tune in at News 10 at midday. Storm Team 10's Brady Harp will be back and have the latest track on the storm. We'll also bring you live coverage on site across the Wabash Valley. And of course, you can get information on the storm at any time over on WTHITV.com. While you're there, don't forget to download the Storm Team 10 app, and you can also track the storm from home using that app. News 10 this morning will be right back.